Hi, it's Pastor Cat. It is my day off, and so I thought we would do a bit of a drive today. It is a cold one. I thought maybe we would go play some frisbee golf today, but it is way too cold. So a little drive, maybe I'll find somewhere warm to walk around. thinking a lot this week about boldness. We talked uh, last week a little bit about where does your confidence come from and today kind of moving that to the next stage which is the boldness side of things and brought me to a verse in Galatians, Galatians chapter 1. Uh, we'll be just reading just verse 10 today. Galatians 1 10 says, am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. And this is Paul. He is talking to the Galatians and he has just reprimanded them for walking away from the faith that was taught them, specifically walking away from the exact gospel that he and Barnabas presumably had preached to them. And he comments how quickly they have deserted that and all those who are leading them astray, that there's a special punishment coming for them. And then he ends that little uh, pericope there by saying, who am I trying to please? And he's kind of reflecting upon himself. Am I trying to please man or am I trying to please God? And as I look at my life, I realize that even though I would love to claim that everything I do is trying to please God, I definitely waver back and forth from trying to make people like me or get along well in society. And if you're anything like me, you probably do some of those same things where you know what you should be doing, you know what your spirit says, yet your body and your heart and your mind go another direction. You're always in this constant battle with it. So this week, that is my encouragement to you. Consider when you choose to do a thing where you spend your time, your money, and your energy, are you attempting to please God? Or are you attempting to please man? Because I think that can get really complicated in my life. I'm sure that it can in yours too. If you have any questions or comments or you're struggling with this and you'd like to leave them down below your questions and your comments, I'd love to pray for you and be a part of your life in that way. Well, either way, I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee, enjoy the view out the window. I'll show you some here in a second and then uh, call it a day. I believe I have a little bit of uh, errands to run with the wife this afternoon. Bye now. See you guys next week. God bless.